everyone, I'm Tony, this is SV Tapatia. Recording, as I say, nearly every week, a cruising sailboat. Uh, and I th I'm happy this week. And, uh, and perhaps as, as a little comment, a short comment to be made there. So, you know, some weeks you feel like you've done well, other weeks somehow you haven't got as much done as you wished. This week, I'm happy. Quite a bit done, I think. Anyhow, we'll start right here on the aft deck because if we look this way you will see it's very nice and sadly very expensive shore power connection Slide that one to position, like that. Alright, okay. When this one comes up here, over that, like that. And that is going to go roughly speaking in there. Master Vault socket, then there with the with the suitable plug on the end of the cable, it goes in there and locates, locks in position. Obviously the cover comes down and locks it shut. Uh, and what I was most impressed with is how deep, perhaps I can show you how deep on um, probably the power's on to yeah. how far in that plug goes. You see how far that in, in that is now. Look, I pull that out. So it's fairly stiff. See that goes in four to five centimeters, almost two inches of, of contact, which is very, very significant. And it's a good, as you can probably tell there, it's a good stiff fit in there. There we go, locked in position. So very nice. That was the first job. And I followed that up on the aft deck here with these, put these three plastic hatches here.
Holy. But one, two, three, in, sealed in position. These two are just into storage for bits and bobs, you know, binoculars, gloves, whatever. Um, the one up here, Kerry, is to the diesel day tank filler. Yeah, you, you might have noticed something different where I'm sat here, and that is that the aft deck is now completely painted. I've got the non-slip patches down here and on the raised deck. Fifteen centimeters off the deck rails, and then from the hatch turtle, we angle across to twenty centimeters off of it. At the near end here, we're eighteen centimeters off. I do believe we are. Oh. Two big patches on the raised deck, two naturally slightly smaller patches on the aft deck due to the fact that the aft deck is smaller. Um, I use the same brand that I've used for everything, the epoxy, the paint, everything, I all get from the same supplier, so this is Bink and Non-Slip, and I'm so far entirely happy with it, it's, it's got a good non-slip surface to it, it's a satin, it's, it's not gloss, it's a satin finish, whereas the, around the outside of the panels is gloss. Then I've got two coats of gloss paint on the, on the sides here, bulwarks, coat roof sides. No doubt we'll need another coat for launch, but but it'll do for now. Call it glossed. Um, yeah, quite nice, I think. This is is the lazarette hatch, and uh, you know I've been working on it for a while, um, and it's now actually approaching being finished. I wanted to uh, change the design a little bit just to, to make it more waterproof. So I, I, it's, it's a bit sticky. I've just finished it, but um, I'll put this second layer around that, that so it comes down onto the hatch and then around the outside of the hatch frame as well.
So that. Very nice. And while we're on the topic of adapting hatches, this is the sliding hatch for the main entrance hatch. I've uh, done two things to this. Obviously, it's just been varnished again, so wet and sticky. But one of the things that bothered me a little bit was uh, the, the perspex that's going in here. It's still got the protective cover on it, but, but with the protective covers on it, it actually sits a fraction higher than my my rebate and I didn't want that's okay on the edges it doesn't matter but in the middle I didn't want water collecting in the middle so I had various options but I decided perhaps the best way to go was just to raise the middle strut up a little bit so I've I put roughly a centimeter of extra mahogany on top of that um, to bring it up so there's no lower gap in the middle there obviously I had to cut a little bit out of the hatch turtle to clear it but I've done that and working well and the other thing I need to do there, there are some screws through here that need to plug in so I cut the half inch plugs and pop them in there
Yeah, should do the job. And that, guys, is about it for this week. Thank you for watching. The old what's it and that, and the old what's it and that, and the bell, and all of them things. And uh, see you next time. Bye.